As Africa pursues its quest for uh, development, there's sometimes a, a focus only on the outcome of development projects without considering the sustainability of those projects and in particular the environment in which those projects are situated. So for the East African Development Bank, um, we are following and monitoring closely the developments in the climate arena and our flagship project in this regard is the Lake Turkana Wind Farm in Turkana, Kenya which is the largest wind farm in Africa. We've also uh, financed cogeneration plants in Uganda uh, based on our in investments in the sugar sector. We are supporting the growing of trees, not just symbolically, but for commercial investment. And we've had one very successful investment uh, of a forest farm in Uganda, large tracts of land, which we financed right from inception. Resental is a resin-bonded roofing tile factory situated in Lugogo, Kampala, and was officially launched in June 2013. The roofing concept originated in South Africa. The tile is light, half the weight of a concrete tile, and environmentally sustainable, being made completely of recycled plastics and sand. But when the owners embarked on the project, they didn't have everything they needed to start up production. Mr. Mugamba, welcome to the program. Talk to me about uh, the beginnings of your company. Resentile East Africa started way back in 2009, actually. Um, we started by buying the idea of environmental sustainability and responsibility to begin with because uh, we had a trip to South Africa over other business matters. And then we, we saw this product. And the two of us, uh, main directors, were immediately attracted. Or, you know, we, it, 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 it just uh, made a lot of sense for us. Yeah. So um, we carried out a kind of uh, uh, inquiries as to the production process and whatever is involved and um, we then realized that actually it was uh, a product which had a lot of uh, um, advantages in terms of um, the social and economic benefits but could also be done without very complicated uh, technology. So um, we, we were given an offer on our very first trip of equipment which we accepted at, uh, of course, very negotiated terms. So you can say because of our attraction or um, interest in, uh, in, in, the, in the concept, we put the cart before the horse. We bought machinery or equipment ahead of, of the, the factory. Mr. Mugamba, having an idea is uh, one thing, but I, I suppose without financing that idea, it remains just that an idea. Talk to me about then whom you partnered with in order to really get started, financially speaking, that is. Yeah, we went to our old friends, our old good partners, East African Development Bank, who, are, who have supported us on an other business that we do in real estate. And so we knocked on their doors together with other banks, but they turned out to be our partners again after some time. So I think 2011 is when we got the, the commitment from the bank. And then we started looking at the construction. How much are we talking about here the amount you got from the EADB initially? From EADB, we actually got um, an offer of half a million dollars, but along the line, we only used two thirds of it. We only needed two thirds of it. Mr. Mugambase, thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Daniel. It's been a pleasure.